Uh, so TRAM2, or triggering receptor expressed on myeloid cells too, is a transmembrane receptor that uh, in the brain is primarily expressed by microglia, the brain's innate immune cells. And so TREM2 is responsible for regulating a range of key microglial functions, including survival, proliferation, migration, phagocytosis, and inflammatory responses. And uh, in the last decade, human genome-wide association studies have shown a strong link between TREM2 and late-onset Alzheimer's disease, as it was shown that mutations that are encoded in the TREM2 gene leads to an increased risk for developing the disease. Um, and in fact, one of the strongest uh, AD-associated genetic risk factors uh, or for Alzheimer's disease uh, is the um, uh, heterozygous R7H variant. And so this is a rare TREM2 loss of function mutation that leads to reduced uh, the reduced ligand binding, binding and downstream signaling responses of TREM2. And this mutation confers a 2 to 4.5 fold increased risk for late onset Alzheimer's disease, which is similar to that of the heterozygous APOE4 allele variant. Given this genetic evidence that TREM2 loss of function is detrimental, uh, boosting microglial functions by stimulating TREM2 may be a promising therapeutic strategy. So therefore, in the work that I'm doing as part of my PhD project, uh, we are investigating the ability of TREM2 targeted antibodies to boost microglial responses and or rescue deficits that are associated with the r 7 h variant of TREM2 in human iPSC-derived microglia. So in the work that I presented at the ARUK conference, the, um, the results show that stimulation with TREM2 targeted antibodies uh, are able to activate TREM2 dependent downstream phospho signaling uh, it's also found to reduce levels of soluble TREM2 in the microglia, uh, which uh, would indicate reduced shedding and uh, cleavage of TREM2 of the surface. Uh, and finally, the antibodies are able to enhance phagocytosis of fluorescently labeled A beta oligomers, uh, or at least in the uh, uh, human IPC drug microglia expressing common variant TREM2. And so together, these findings would support the hypothesis that antibody-mediated TREM2 stimulation may be effective in boosting microglial functions uh, and also reducing amyloid pathology. However, further, further uh, research is required to uh, better understand the underlying mechanisms of TREM2 modulation in Alzheimer's disease. So in future studies, I first want to confirm if the uh, TREM2 target antibodies are also able to enhance uh, other trem dependent microglial functions, such as survival, metabolism, and uh, inflammatory responses. Um, but also using human iPSC-derived neurons, uh, I aim to explore if the antibodies uh, or if um, antibody-mediated activation of TREM2 in the microglia uh, could be neuroprotective against an inflammatory stimuli.